What's up Star Wars fans, Jonesy the Mandalorian here with the Hyperspace Database, the show that highlights the secret history and trivia of Star Wars ships, technology, alien species, and more. Today's topic, the Bulwark Class Battle Cruisers. The Bulwark Class Cruisers Mark I and II were developed by Transgalmag Industries for the Techno Union just prior to the Clone Wars, and the Mark III was developed for the Rebel Alliance and then the New Republic many years later. The Bulwark class battle cruisers were a series of ships that were designed to be heavily armored, large scale warships, and were meant to be on the front lines of combat. The Mark I and Mark II variants were developed for the Separatist Army and used during the Clone Wars, while the Mark III was a much larger craft that was used by the Rebel Alliance during the Galactic Civil War, and then later by the New Republic against the Yuuzhan Vong. The thousand meter long Bulwark Mark I battle cruiser was involved in many missions during the Clone Wars and was the main component in the secret bulwark fleet built by the Celestin Admiral Dua Ningo around two years after the Battle of Geonosis, as seen in the Star Wars RPG sourcebook Rise of the Separatists. This secret fleet rampaged through the galaxy right up into the Core Worlds, where they were then finally defeated at the Battle of Anaxis. These ships were fearsome vessels because they were so heavily armored that they were known to ram other smaller ships without taking significant damage. The Bulwark Mark II was an upgraded version of the Mark I, though what upgrades were given to the ship are unknown, as the designs appeared not to have changed drastically from the previous model. The body design of the Bulwark Mark III was inspired by the Mark I and II, though it was much larger than its other two predecessors, coming in at 2,500 meters versus the 1,000 of the Mark I. The Mark III cruiser was built sometime during the Galactic Civil War, and was one of the most durable and heavily armored ships used by the Rebel Alliance. In addition to the Rebel Alliance, the ship was used by the Celestin Home Guard of the Soros Sub Corporation in the defense of the planet Sullust, though the ships were mainly utilized in the fight against the Empire. The Bulwark Mark III was a massive ship, and was, for all intents and purposes, a mobile fortress, allowing ships to be deployed safely as well as being capable of landing and deploying ground forces. During the Galactic Civil War, a Bulwark Mark III by the name of Arrow of Sullust was manufactured by the Soros Sub Corporation, and though the company was sympathetic towards the Rebellion, they remained neutral in the war, which forced the Rebellion to instead steal the ship, which they did with a skeleton crew holding off Imperial troops, as seen in the Strongholds of Resistance expansion of the Age of Rebellion role-playing game. While the Mark III was primarily used during the Galactic Civil War against the Empire, the Mark III was also notably seen fighting for the New Republic during the Yuuzhan Vong War, some 25 years after the Battle of Yavin. The ship was a main component in the evacuation of Rachel, which is chronicled in the comic book series Star Wars Invasion, as well as the defense of the planet Shromar, where they were a part of a blockade to repel the invading Vong forces. Here's a fun fact. The first appearance of the Bulwark Mark III was in the 1998 video game Star Wars Rebellion, where it appears as one of the many playable craft in the Rebel Alliance fleet. The Mark III was the most powerful Rebel Alliance ship in Rebellion, and was said to even rival the power of a Star Destroyer in-game. The ship was so strong, in fact, that it was considered a fleet unto itself, and was a natural choice to be the flagship of any Alliance fleet that was lucky enough to have one in its ranks. The Bulwark-class battle cruisers were fearsome ships because of their durability and heavy armor, and whether it was the Mark I or II during the Clone Wars, or the Mark III during the Galactic Civil War and Reign of the New Republic, the legacy and reputation of these behemoth ships were proven and reinforced every time they entered the field of battle. And that about wraps up this episode, but be sure to stick around to the end for some secret trivia. Did you like it? Be sure to check out my other videos as well, hit those like and subscribe buttons, and the bell to never miss an episode that I publish. Be sure to select all notifications, and you can check me out on social media for more news and channel updates. Also, hit me up in the comments too, because I'd love to talk to you guys. Thank you so much for your support, and we will see you next time.